Hey, what's up guys? Rockets here with Butthead.com, and I'm here to walk you through syncing your Madden Ultimate Team 16 in-game binder with Butthead.com using our brand new binder sync tool. Uh, what that's going to allow you to do is better manage your binder by using our sorts and filters. Uh, and specifically, you can use it to sort your binder by price, which will show all the expensive players you own, whether you knew they were expensive or not. So the first step is to install the Mudhead Binder Sync Chrome extension. Uh, you can do that by clicking the link up here. So you'll see this takes you to the Chrome Web Store. You will need to click Add to Chrome here, Add Extension, and you will notice the icon up here that the extension has been added. Uh, one thing I need to note here is you absolutely need to use Chrome uh, to make this happen. So if you're using a browser like Safari or Firefox, it won't work. You are going to need to install Chrome. You can do that at chrome.google.com. Uh, when the page loads, you'll see the download option for personal computers. I also should note that at this time, um, Chrome for mobile, so that means for iPad, for phones, for tablets in general, uh, you cannot use extensions. So you will need to use a computer um, to do the sync. So back here, we have the Chrome extension added to Chrome. Uh, we can click the icon up here and it will take you to the binder sync tool. So the next step is you need to connect your origin account to the Madden Ultimate Team item database. Um, you can do that once again by clicking the link here. You'll need to give it a second um, and it will prompt you to log in. It's really important to note that you are signing in with EA. You're not signing in with us. We don't touch your password. Uh, so this is completely secure. The email address and password are to the origin account that you have associated with your Madden Ultimate Team account in game. Now you can find that in the settings um, of Madden if you're unsure. So I'm logging in here. And then it will take a second. Uh, now I am connected. You'll notice because it shows my gamertag rockets up here, uh, my coin total, and I can click on my items and it will show me all the items I currently own. This is the data source we're using to do the uh, binder sync. So one thing that is really important to note is that not all players are included. For example, players like Style Tony Romo are not included. You'll notice only his 86 overall is included here, not the 92 overall style edition. So if you do own that player or players like him, uh, when you sync, we won't have any way to know if you have it or not. So if there are important players to your lineup that are missing in the sync, that's probably why. So now that we've gone through this step, we can close it. We're going to go back here. You notice this button is updated. And then you'll need to click and you'll notice that it is syncing right now. It'll take a few seconds depending on how many players are in your binder. And sometimes like here, it's taking a little longer. Um, you can try refreshing the page and a lot of times the sync will have worked. And you'll notice here that it did work for me. Uh, whether it refreshed on its own or you have to refresh it, um, you can see all the players I own. Not very impressive, uh, but this is my current team. You can see my gamer tag, my console, the total value of all my players, how many coins I have, and the last time it's updated. Uh, you'll notice the countdown here. We put a 10 minute um, a restriction on here, so you can only sync once every 10 minutes. If you sync more often than that, you risk getting uh, temporarily banned on EA's web app. It's not too serious, but you won't be able to sync, and this just prevents it entirely. Um, so like I said, you can see all my players sorted from highest price to lowest, but really you can do anything uh, you want. So if I wanted to see, you know, for example, all my fastest players, I can see my whole binder ranked by speed. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You can use any of our filters, uh, any of our sorts. Uh, you could sort by overall. Anything you can do with the Mudhead filters, you can now apply to your binder. So there you have it, guys. I hope that makes sense. If you're still having issues, feel free to stop by the forums and post a question, and I'm sure one of the knowledgeable members of our awesome community uh, will take a second to help you out. So um, definitely check out the tool, and you might find something in your binder that you didn't know you had. All right, that's it for me, guys. Later.